Hello, David Eager Hernandez here. And I want to pray with you today for your healing. The scripture says this in Psalm chapter 103, verse 3. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. God is faithful to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or even think. And Christ, his heart is a healing heart. His nature is a healing nature. You may be like that woman with the issue of blood. You've dealt with sickness for so long that you've had your hopes raised only to see them come crashing down again. Well, I want to encourage you today, let faith come alive in your heart again because passing by your situation, walking into the city of your pain is the one they called master, savior, healer. And he wants to heal you today. I feel the presence of God and I really do believe he wants to make you whole. No matter what sickness you're facing today, he is able and he's not only able, he's willing. The scripture that we just read tells us he heals all of our diseases and he forgives all of our sins. If you believe he forgives sins, surely he also heals your disease. He loves you. He sees you right now. His eyes are on you right in this very moment. He sees your pain. He sees your fear. He sees your suffering. And he's come to make you well. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you for your healing anointing that's flowing right now through this broadcast. And Lord, I lift that one watching right now. Let them see you, Jesus. Wonderful healer. Lord, we've imagined you so many times as we watch through scripture. You moving in compassion. Lord, we've seen in the mind's eye as we've read through your truth. You reaching out and touching those in need of healing. We imagine the wonderful things about you. The authority of heaven you carry upon your shoulders. The surging power of God moving through your hands like electricity. Lord, if we could see your face, look upon your lovely countenance even now, we would look and we would be enamored by your eyes that carry for us passionate love, eyes like fire. Lord, if we stood before you physically as those did in the New Testament stories, if we stood before you just as they did, you wouldn't turn us away. You wouldn't tell us no. So that Jesus, we come to you now, the healer. And we reach out, Lord, and we say, will you make us whole? out your hand right now. He's touching you. I really, I feel the presence of God here. He's making you whole. Father, I rebuke sickness right now. According to your word, Lord, I, your servant, according to the authority of your word, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke arthritis right now. Lord, I rebuke cancer in the name of Jesus. I rebuke blood disease and problems with the muscles and tendons, problems with the nerve. Someone, or there's a problem with your left ear, God's healing that. Lord, I rebuke deafness right now. Lord, I rebuke problems with the eyes and with the mouth. Lord, any joints and bone issues, Lord, we command complete and total healing to take place. Remove that sickness from their body, Lord. They've suffered long enough. We rebuke it now. We take authority. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to encourage you. Remember, Jesus is your healer, and nothing is impossible. No matter what comes your way, no matter how tragic it may seem, no matter how See, either we have standards or we don't. And everybody who says, well, you should be free and they have kind of this.